Okay, we're continuing with um, some of our properties of, of working with complex numbers in polar form. And they gave us an example in our book that said to use complex numbers to write cosine of 7 pi over 12 and sine of 7 pi over 12 in simplest third form. So don't let that freak you out. That just means um, radical. Okay, so they want square roots. Okay. Um, so that's the British way. Maybe I don't know. I'm not British. Okay, so, um, so on this one, we do have... Um, properties that we learned before when we were doing um, trig identities that help us to solve this, but we're gonna we're gonna use some of those ideas um, and use our complex numbers to get there. So um, basically, what we want is we, we're gonna use um, we're gonna say okay, cosine of seven pi over twelve, well plus i sine of seven pi over twelve. Um, then the real part will be equal to cosine of 7 pi over 12. And when we manipulate this, and then the imaginary part will be equal to, to sine of 7 pi over 12. So this is like saying, OK, cis of 7 pi over 12, right? Um, so then what we can do here is that we can break this apart and say that this is cis of um, 3 pi over 12 plus 4 pi over 12, which would be cis of um, pi over 4 plus pi over 3. Okay, and so now we, um, we're, we're working with, um, I'm going to pull out a page from a previous video. We're working with this, but going backwards. Okay, so right now we're here, and we want to work our way back to this. Okay, so since we've got um, cis of two angles being added together, we can say it's cis of one times cis of the other. Okay, so this would be equal to cis of pi over 4 times um, cis of pi over 3. Well, okay, if you think about where is pi over 4 on our unit circle, pi over 4 is here, so this is going to be root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. So this is equal to, the real part is root 2 over 2, plus the imaginary part is also root 2 over 2. Put the i in the front of the back, whatever. Okay, and then when I think about pi over 3, um, then I have my, my real part is 1 half, my imaginary part is root 3 over 2. So my real part is 1 half, plus my imaginary part is root 3 over 2. Okay, um, see how important it is to know your unit circle? As I keep going, I have, I'm going to foil, this is root 2 over 4, um, plus i root 6 over 4. Then the next one plus, um, what is this, i root 2 over 4. And then this becomes a plus i squared root 6 over 4. Well, that's kind of a messy way to write this. Um, this becomes real, and that becomes a negative 1. So the real part is root 2 minus root 6 over 4. The imaginary part is plus, well, root 6 plus root 2 over 4 times i. Do these numbers look familiar? Hopefully you've already studied advanced um, identities where you did the, um, the sum and difference identities because if you did and you practiced this, you saw this a lot. So basically, remember, we said that the real part was going to be cosine and the imaginary part was going to be sine. So this right here... <coughs> so sorry. That's the real part, and this is the imaginary part. Okay, so we know that um, cosine of 7 pi over 12 is equal to root 2 minus root 6 over 4, and we know that sine of 7 pi over 12 is equal to root 6 plus root 2 over 4. Now, to be completely honest with you, I don't know that this was a better method for solving this problem, um, but it does enable us to solve both of them at the same time, if that's anything we, we need to do. Um, good luck. Keep practicing. It's really cool to see how um, the different math topics that we have studied kind of um, weave in and out and kind of merge together, and um, I hope you enjoy that too. Enjoy.